It may contain strong, coarse language, violence, and other mature content not appropriate for children under 17. The views expressed in this program may not represent those of this cable station or its employees. It's 9 o'clock on a Friday night, so grab a seat and you just might see something really great. You've got the time, it's not too late to watch a show that will give you laughs and chills and thrills. There's nothing that they haven't tried, cause everything tastes great when it's deep fried. So lock your doors and sit right down, there is no better place to go. Cause it's time for the Not So Late Show When comedy and retarded collide It's the Not So Late Show When comedy, when comedy and what? Like, sorry, I'm just getting dressed now. I was naked on the set a moment ago. Yeah, we were recording. Considering so. it's our last night with the set. You decided to come Twistful. in naked. Wistful. Oh, this one's yours. It has chocolate on it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. But, but, in classic not so late show fashion, we we're going to burn it. it. We're going to give it a proper send off. And the studio may go up with it, but <laughs> details. Not our fault, not our studio. You yeah. never know. Maybe Cablevision slash Optum slash whatever the hell they're called nowadays will thank us. But I doubt it. Probably not. Uh, but anyways, yes, we'll be destroying the set live. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Mustard yeah. stains and all. I think that's bacon, actually. <laughs> bacon and mustard and cheese stains and all. But I won't be sad to see Will Ferrell go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, so, or yeah, Greg kinda, A little bit of a sad day. It's our last hour of the show. It's kind of like counting down to set Setpocalypse. Yeah. But really, frankly, these poster frames, they can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish you at home could see how knackered these poster frames. I think that's the best way I could possibly put it, is these things are barely holding on for dear life. It doesn't come across on SDTV at all. But these things are like, I'm <laughs> waiting for them to come down and knock out one of us. That's why we threw the darts into the hiney so that it actually holds it up. It acts it's as pretty a much. That's the only thing holding the dart. <laughs> Doug's like, oh, I'm blocking my word. <laughs> 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 um, no, so with the poster, yeah, really the darts are the only thing holding that up on the wall right now. Yeah. It's fantastic. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's basically, um, it's a death trap to us all. Which is why at ten more, more to me because it's only above my head. I'm fine with that. That's least, okay. At least okay. there's no squirrels above you. Tony. Yes. Uh, no so worries. at ten o'clock on the dot, we will be continuing the show. But during the show, we will be breaking this sucker down. You guys brought the napalm, right? Uh huh. You were supposed to bring the napalm. You saw the, you oh, good because I brought three gallons of it. Count it. Yeah. <laughs> ah! oh, that was a uh, good one. It really was. <laughs> ah. Oh. I have to give a shout out to Aaron. Shout Go out ahead, to Aaron. Yeah. Just look at my hand. While they're in pain, I'll give a bit. shout out to my buddy Aaron. Is this uh, cold water? Yes. <laughs> this is a cold drink. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. is, is that the woman who was here last week and got her floor dirty? <laughs> who? Floor Feels dirty? like my hand's asleep. No, no. Oh. Uh. My hand's asleep and on fire at the same time. Yes. It's like icy hot. It's shack cells or something. Uh, anyways, uh, so what have you guys been up to this past week? I got my truck working. Yay! Count it! No, no, no. Too soon. No. Too soon. Yeah. Count it. Yeah. Okay, that was gay. Uh, <laughs> you got your truck working. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Too bad you can't drive it. Nope. Stupid registration. <laughs> All right. Well, Details. Do anything else? That was about it. Very good. I took a nap today. Ooh, I almost took a nap today. I did. But if I took a nap today, I wouldn't be here right now. I. I it was 5.50 p.m. I'm like... Mine was at about That's thing to show. <laughs> mine was mine was about two o'clock. I woke up at five and I was like, ah, oh, time to like get yeah. ready to go. Well, for me, I was like fighting it off. I was like, it's so warm and comfy. No, you, you know what I mean. Like you have to stay up for something, but you're like in bed and it's like so warm and comfy and just watching TV and fall asleep. No, <laughs> I've never made that noise no? in my bedroom. While trying to stay awake. <laughs> so, right. I have gone, yeah, at some other point, but... Uh, it's mainly when you spilled hot coffee on your junk. Yeah. Um, 
It was followed by screaming and pain and, and some gauze. Um, I think that's just sex for him, too. <laughs> it's not for you guys? Uh, no. no. Hot coffee's not involved in your guys' sex? Uh, not in not my variety. Right. Right. Go to Berlin. Unless you're in... Um, Germany? Grand Theft Auto yeah. 3, in which oh. case hot coffee's the only way you can have sex. I get that joke. Yes, you do. That's really, really, really nerdy. Uh, anyways, uh, Jay, what, what else did you do this week? I filled out applications. You did? Yeah. Was it very interesting? Well, I'll let you know when I'm done here. Fair enough. All right, so uh, you know what time Brad, it is. Brad, what did you do this week? Um, I plotted various ways with which to devise our new set. Did it involve holograms and... It did. It involves cyborgs? all of those things. Cyborgs? None of which we can possibly afford. Oh. If I had a budget of like two grand, we could probably do some holograms or cyborgs or something. But no. Two grand? Two grand, you can do holograms. You heard it, NASA. I'll figure it out. <laughs> you heard it, NASA. Get Brad on the case. For two grand, I can get two plates of glass and apply, or apply a reflective coating to them such that they reflect off. You get two projectors, reflect off them at different angles, and thus it looks like a freaking hologram. God, you're a nerd. Yes! All right, anyways. You put me to shame. Yes. <laughs> That's not a good thing. You should see the things I'm thinking about when I'm not on the show, in nerd sense, not weird No, no, sense. no, 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 yeah. no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you can, I guess yeah, you can be involved right. in those too. Yeah, that too. Uh, anyway, speaking of uh, nerdiness, it's time for Geeky News. It's where we recount uh, what happens uh, during the week in tech, and we limit each topic to 69 seconds. Why? Why? Why do we do that? Because Jay's a huge bird. Yes, he is. JJ. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah perf. Uh, so uh, there was a lot that happened in tech this week. You, you want to go over it? No, it really? There wasn't, there wasn't actually much. wasn't that much. 85% of Just it was... Just go with it, Jay. You know, oh, there was a lot. There was a lot. There's a ton. The most ever. Oh. Now you can see it can beat this week. Because it's so awesome. Who? Because it's so awesome. No, who can't beat this? Not even CES week. I think it could. Shut up, they don't know that. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe they do, we're just overselling it. You know they can still hear you, right? Shut up. Inner dialogue. But this Inner is... Inner dialogue. It's a live... Inner TV. dialogue! Oh, wait, that's external dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Geeky uh, news. Oh, man. Well, we have the music. It's, yeah, that's we it. couldn't hear it out here, but I could hear it in there. Oh. Time to get your geek on. Rob Fail. Rob Fail. Oh. 92 hey, to 102. Uh, let's do a quick news story. Okay. Don't uh, touch well, that, that you hey, if you use credit cards a lot, you may be paying okay. through your shorts now, but not in Connecticut, by the way. Oh. Uh, beginning on this past... Are paying through your shorts? That, too. Yeah. Uh, beginning like last underwear Sunday. underwear or short shorts? Because I don't wear underwear. I don't know. You wear short shorts? Maybe, you it's, wear short maybe shorts. it's boxer... If you're paying through your boxer briefs now. Beginning Sunday, a new law says merchants in 40 states can tack a surcharge on of anywhere between 1.5% and 4% on your bill. For now, wearing shorts? No, for using your credit card. Uh, Although they should for wearing shorts in the winter. They should charge like a 6% surcharge. I don't understand oh, okay. how people can do that. Was that shorts or putting they, a surcharge they wear on shorts your in the winter? They have a lot of leg hair. Yeah. Like, I, like, I do too, but I'm still cold. I wear a fleece down to about 10 degrees. It's only when I hit about 10 degrees when I consider like an actual jacket jacket. Hmm. That's, I mean, I wore this today. Yeah. That's it. Right. You did well. The, no t shirt, no pants, no underwear, no, no nothing. You're just wearing socks. Hoodie. Yes. Socks are important. Socks are very important. My toesies get cold. All right. So here's why they're charging the sur uh, surcharge. Every time you use your credit card, uh, the merchant gets charged by Visa and MasterCard a percentage of your sale. Right. So they're, you know, for American Express, it's really expensive for them to use, which is why a lot less merchants accept American Express as compared to Visa because their charges are less. So now they're allowed to pass those costs on to consumers. So that's I, why. I don't agree to that. Right. Well, that's fine because they, they can't legally do that. Connecticut, the 10 states who don't allow such a surcharge are California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Kansas, Maine, Massachusetts, New York, Oklahoma, and Texas. You also won't get charged if you use a debit card and put in your PIN number or an American Express card since Amex contract with retailers forbids them from levying a surcharge. Ooh. Yeah. Let me get Dynamics. American Express. Yeah. Moral of the story, always check your bill. And uh, if you go out of state, uh, well, actually, you don't really have to worry about it in, like, tri-state area, Connecticut, New York, Massachusetts. But, but in New a, Jersey. But in Hawaii. Rhode Island. In Hawaii, 
were surcharge screwed. out the yin yang. Yeah, but yeah. you expect it there. Yeah, so. It is Hawaii. Yeah. Geeky news. Ah, they're ready. Oh, we already heard the music once. I'm not falling for that. Are again. you ready for some tech news? Oh, I think we are. No. No, we're not. We're not? We'll do it anyways. First news story, how would you like $10 or less? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Facebook has settled a class action lawsuit, and you may have received or be receiving an email. Matter of fact, I literally got mine this evening. Uh, that your pictures may have been featured in a sponsored article. So you know how Facebook has, like, your ad here and random picture of some guy going... Yeah. You know? Uh, yep. Well, it could have they been They did your, use my picture. It could have been your picture. Did they? I guess that's my picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so some random guy. So actually they were stealing Facebook uh, user they, photos. They used mine. They put a picture of... Would you, would you like your ad here? And it's a picture of a dude that's drunk. Yeah, you, well, <laughs> you had with the sombrero on. Hey... I like that picture. Yeah, yeah it's um, classic Pat. I, yeah. It's like classic Coke, except classic Pat. Yes. With rum. Yes. Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> looking back to the story, uh, you could, uh, if you enter, fill out a form, whatever, you could get up to $10, but of course it's only a $20 million fund, so if everyone on Facebook does it, you get like 37 cents. So basically, less than the stamp they have to mail you to check in, which would be fantastic. Or a nickel. Yeah. I've always wanted to check from Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. For, for a nickel. I'll take it. Ha! Suck it, Starfleet. Uh, what did they invent, Jay? Something about a tractor beam? They did invent a tractor beam, and I think for that's very cool. For incredibly small things. For farming. That's yeah. right. You can now tractor beam carrots out of the ground. Ooh. By the way, is my mic making a lot of noise when I move here? No, it sure is. It is when you talk. So stop talking, <laughs> and you'll stop making noise. You have to use inner dialogue. <laughs> How does your shirt make noise? Your shirt or video noise. Oh. I knew it was going to do that because you see my shirt's buzzing. But anyways, uh, yeah, tractor beam, go on. Be able to see what this has to do with Starfleet. Go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll fill you in later, Doug. It is one word. Says you. Now that we've wasted 15 seconds so on anyways, they've and invented panel a, conversation. They've invented yeah, so the a Czech tractor Republic beam. actually has invented a tractor beam, which only moves things on the, I think, particulate level. Yeah, so like really but like they can, atomic level. It attracts Atoms. Yes, but it can. It did get stuff to move towards whatever source they were using, a light of some sort. Which is yeah, really it, was cool. a, it was a light beam that attracted stuff. But which, that's cool. Which is cool. Yeah, I can do the same that's, thing with a bug zapper, but yeah. Yes, but the bugs, <laughs> the bugs are actually aiming for something. The particles were just kind of like... Oh, hey, no, it attracts gonna, them. Oh, I'm sure it does. See your cup in 4D. D. What the hell did you learn your alphabet? Okay. Two countries, one cup? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't oh. want this chocolate ice cream anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. Uh, <laughs> no. So Japan and NHK is going to be broadcasting. Come on, no one at home. No, <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to get that at home. Uh, oh. They might now. Uh, no one at home. Oh, uh, NHK, Japan broadcaster, is going to broadcast the World Cup 2014 in 4K, which is basically four times the resolution of HDTV. Or the highest resolution of HDTV. As we've been telling you about for like the last really cool. five months. Crazy high resolution. So if you have one of those like 10 grand sets and you get Japanese television, <laughs> count it! Oh, I don't have one Carrot. either. So. <laughs> yeah, why would I <laughs> count that? Yeah, well... Uh, Wait, are you going to be there? I don't know. That'd be cool. I don't that would be, uh, that'd be better than 4K, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, the real life does not be, it does not beat 4K, my friend. That's true. You have a good point. So uh, if you're in Japan and you have 4K TV, good for you. But if you live in Torrington, yeah, it sucks. To be like One word why it's better. Why? Mute button. Bovazillas. Yes. That's T-Rex. Uh, Apple doubles, doubles up. up. Bread is meh. meh. All right. So Apple... Um, the, you know how I've been like, I they need a 128-gig iPad. Well, they finally came out with a 128-gig iPad. So you're going to get one? Not yet. What? All right. Yeah, that's why Brad is meh. Why they're is they're too late in the cycle. If they had came out with a 128-gig iPad when they came out with the last iPad, yeah, I would have bought it right then and there. But the fact of the matter is we're too close to the cycle of whatever they're coming out in the fall for me to really jump on it because in another Switch? six months it's going to outdate it. If I'm going to spend an obscene amount of money on a pad, I'm going to go get one that's like the brand newest thing so I'm going to wait till fall. But the fact of the matter is if Apple doesn't necessarily impress me, I'm going to look at the Microsoft Surface Pro because it's got, even though less storage, whatever. Um, Was that a laptop? It needs me. It, well, it's a tablet, same form factor as uh, the iPad, uh, except it's an actual computer. And by an actual 
in addition to being like a tablet, it's like a, a Windows computer. Oh, is it one of those click click ones that. Like... No, 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 no. It's a tablet. It's still, you've seen the Surface Pro, or yeah. the Surface, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's an actual computer, too. Like, Windows 8, full fledged, run Premiere. Oh, not, not, not a. Uh... Cool, okay. Yeah. So Brad's so, met, and he's going to go to Windows 8. Uh, well, maybe we'll see in the fall. We'll see what Apple comes out with. Let hey. your app tweak your audio. Yes, Jay. I'm stealing your, your headlines. What, what, wait, well, go ahead and tell everyone that, what that's about. Yeah, go ahead, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, THQ or THX, one of the two companies, I think, came out with an uh, app that will let you uh, change or adjust your sound. Did I do good? Did I remember? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Go on. Well, for not paying attention, you did fairly well. Yeah. I'll so, give him that. So THX is a company, of course, uh, invented by George Lucas. and We've all heard the sound at the beginning of the show you that stole these. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Um, they uh, invented an app that will basically let you calibrate very finely your home theater such that, you know, everything's like, oh, the perfect sound, perfect color levels, perfect white dark levels. Um, oh, uh, video too? Yeah. Oh. So for those of you, I think so. I don't think it does video. You sure? It's just audio, basically, you kind sure? of. You sure? No, I'm not sure of anything okay. anymore. Well, anyways, it's uh, for all you really AV nerds out there. Go get it. Don't Check forget it to put on the on the contract that we have a fifteen thousand dollar budget per episode. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that too. Holograms, baby, holograms. Um, <laughs> I'm going for right. We can spot. keep tweaking this now. Uh, yeah, really, that was the story with the least to talk about in the most uh, amount of time. Let your <laughs> app tweak your audio. Brad, go. I'm going to eat my ice cream. So basically, <laughs> hey, you got a message. Not, not go me. ahead, Jack. No, I think it's kind of cool, though, because what they've been doing is, like, what do I have at home? I have a Panasonic receiver. Yeah. They give you that microphone that you hook into the back, and then you bring it all the way to the center of where your system is, and then you have to go into the menus and... Oh, so let, let it a, do its speaker thing so, so it can... Wait, it's not just an app, it's a whole... Like, well, it, it's an app. It's a hardware setup, too, that you have to have a microphone? No, that's what that's what the phone... That's what the app does, from what I was reading. Oh. Is that you set it there, it hears everything. It says, okay, fix your uh, left front speaker by uh, this much, or just throw out your system as junk. Mm. But now you don't need them? I got that one. I don't have surround sound anymore. What happened? It told me to throw it away. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You should have done it right. Yeah. The first time. I'm an idiot. ID 10T? No, I'm a 12 o'clock flasher. All my clocks are 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the bridge right of the Enterprise. Right twice a day, though. Going places is so last year. <clears throat> True. We want to go to Hawaii this year. We do. Have so you been to the Grand year. Canyon, though? Count it. Count it. Um, have, you, uh, have you been to the Grand Canyon? No. no. I've flown over it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think, I think we No, have. like really high. Mm. Flew over <laughs> it. All right. In your dreams. All right. Anyways. <laughs> No, uh, when we went to Hawaii. Oh, that, yeah. Technically. Um, <laughs> we clipped it. Or something like that. Uh, well, not with the wing. So but go on, go on. Google Maps. Yeah. You know how they have their street view? Yes. Yeah. Well, they strap one of those suckers, car and all, to the backpack of <laughs> someone. <laughs> of a hiker. Of a hiker. And he crawled his way yeah. all the way through. He finally just got out. They started the project now. They years sent ago. a donkey out with a camera on its back and had it walk the Grand Canyon. So it's a little jittery and well, ornery. Well, the guy's name was Donkey. It was Donkey. Um, That's true. But uh, no, they have nice 75 kid, miles of street view in the Grand Canyon. There's no streets in the Grand Canyon. There is now. Oh. Because that's how the car got there. Yeah. They, they built streets just to, so Google could do something. Yeah. Google actually paid for the streets. It's, it's true. So that's, no, they had so some, now it's one Canyon of those view. little camera things in a backpack. I want Google internet with fiber optic. That's okay. cool. You can explore the Grand Canyon. I ch check it out online. It's totally worth wasting five minutes. You can explore 75 miles of the Grand Canyon. Tremendous. Come see the future with Sony. Hmm. Okay. But here's the problem. We don't know what the future is. I do. Yeah. Wait, it, wait, it, it's a teaser. I know what the future is. Okay, go. It's the PlayStation 4. Ooh. Or as they call it, Project Orbis. Are they going to call it the PlayStation 4? Don't know. I hope so, because Orbis is such well, a they, stupid They've name. already done PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. You may as well just keep a tradition. Yeah. But yeah, Sony sent out a uh, teaser press release saying... Well, they had the PSP. They didn't do PSP 2. They did Vita. Well, that's now the portable system, so... Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so they sent out a press release saying, Come see the future on February 20th. Ooh, mysterious. Yay. The only thing that Sony actually has to announce other than its cameras, which is, let's be honest... You don't need an announcement for that. Behind, like, three major, you know, companies is the PlayStation. 
Yeah, so they're, they're going to announce PlayStation. So I don't know if they're just trying to jump ahead of Microsoft with their next gen system or what. But well, the interesting thing is the specs they announced are ridiculous amount of. It's a ridiculous amount of computing power. For the well, it's PS4. probably going to be a thousand dollar system. I could see it being. It's a like one point eight three like gigaflops of processing. Gigaflops. Power. It's yeah. insane. It's a real word. That's awesome. It's insane. Hey, the keyboard of the future. Would you like me to leave you alone for a minute? Or it's on silent. All right, what's no, the keyboard of the future? Much, it's pretty much vibrating. It's a Google thing, right? Yeah, Google applied for a patent. And as you know, if you have a tablet or any kind of smartphone, basically you can do the two-finger type, 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 thumbs is the most classic. But what they want to do is they want to create a 10-finger keyboard. But it's not going to be a standard QWERTY keyboard as you know it. Basically what they want to do, which Brad has actually said has been around in some fashion for a while. In a mechanical form, it's been around. I guess it took off like a lead balloon. But what Google wants... Yeah, down. Google wants to have it so you just put your fingers on this keyboard and you actually slide your fingers towards the direction of what character you want. So you would look like this. Y you wouldn't even be moving up and down. You'd just be sliding. I can't mimic anything else. Uh, It'll like never get adopted. It Never. How, I mean, you've been typing on keyboards since the 50s with typewriters. Uh, give me another 69 seconds on this one. Woohoo! Well... Let's While see. I shoot chocolate Hold on. Tits. Can you give us a bonus 69? Thank you. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. mm. The QWERTY keyboard's been around for over 100 years. You, you want to know why we have the QWERTY keyboard? Because it's uh, universally known? Mm -mm. Because it's convenient? Because everyone's programmed for it. But, so wait, it, so, so hold on. It's hold not on. the most efficient keyboard. It's not. That's why I said because it's universally known. You went, uh-uh. No. Well, it's not universally known because that would mean every country everywhere that has a computer would use a QWERTY keyboard, and that's not true. Uh, here's, here's why. Back Technicality, but it's right. There were, two, there were two types. There were a couple different types of keyboards that were non-standard back, back in the day. If you look at some old typewriters, some of them was like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. Someone invented, uh, last name Dvorak, invented the Dvorak uh, uh, type, uh, basically pattern. But the fact was, it was a heck of a lot more efficient than the QWERTY keyboard because stuff was arranged much more... Uh, Efficiently, people could type almost twice as fast on the Dvorak keyboard. If, as a matter of fact, you search online, you can still buy some of those today, and they have the Dvorak layout in the window settings. But the the fact of the matter is, when you were typing at a keyboard, you were typing so fast, a lot of the like the ting 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 they get jammed up would get jammed up in the in the typewriter. So they had to invent a keyboard to actually slow people down on the typewriter. No, this is fine. Okay. And that was the QWERTY keyboard. The QWERTY keyboard is designed to slow you down. Yeah. That seems very efficient. And yet it's still around. That's the point I'm trying to make. Hey, we can almost make life type things. Uh, so we made artificial things that are kind of like life but aren't actually life. Jay? Exactly. Basically, NYU has made these crystals. And every... Okay. Everything they do basically mimics organic life, except they're missing one little part of organic life, and that's reproduction. So they can't make the crystal snoo snoo. But they're working on it. They want to see if they can make inorganic life. Inorganic organic life. Okay. But no. can, can we have inorganic life? Yeah, silicon based. There you go. Ha, suck it, college boy. Organic simply means carbon, carbon based. You guys suck. That's true. I'm going to sit here and eat my ice cream. Yeah, do it. I, I couldn't finish my ice cream today. Really? Maybe that means I'm getting skinnier and beautifuler. Let's go it, with that. No, it doesn't. Hey, I found another job. Wait, no, I didn't. No, no, I like my job. I didn't find another nope. job. What did I, what, wait, what's nope, going on? Nope, you're done. You got a new job. I didn't make up this title. Go on. Brad found another. You got a new job? <laughs> no. What's your new job? Same one I had before. <laughs> no, Jay, tell us what Brad's new job is. Brad is actually going to go to the moon and make 3D yes, buildings. Yes, that is my new job. I'm going to the moon. See, told you. All right, there we go. First, we were going to put them on that orbiting uh, station that mm -hmm. they want to build, but now we're just going to have them on the moon building things. Then, we were, then we were going to have Sam fly out there and emotionally <laughs> scar him so that he's stuck on the moon <laughs> and then come back to Earth. What a All right, so uh, what was the plan? The European Space Agency is like, we're going to build moon bases. In order to do that, we're going to use a 3D printer that makes stuff out of moon rocks. Yeah, they want to use lunar material because they said, well, if we take things from Earth... Or a lunar regolith. If we take Science things, word! It's true. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> if they wanted to take the materials from Earth and try to bring it there, it's like 239 tons of stuff they'd have to figure out how to transport from here to there. Mm -hmm. Basically that, a base. That, 
Yeah, and that's not exactly just uh, overnight shipping. Once it's, it's in space, it's kind of free. Oh, yeah. on the moon. But it's a matter of getting it from all here to the atmosphere. Base. 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 All your base. It's called a big... Or on the moon. It's, it's called a big conveyor belt. And then just a little push. <laughs> uh, yeah. Space elevator. Yeah. How about an escalator that goes nowhere? No, but it goes oh, everywhere. Boom! Boom! What's, what's boom? What's boom? Boom, boom. Nothing. That just means they went too far. What Doug, Doug just forgot to stop again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put that in there knowing he would keep going? Yes. <laughs> Every time I do geeky news, there's always something after the last thing. That way I know boom. they didn't stop. And in in honor of the Super Bowl, you're like, tough action tonight. And boom. Actually, I think of boom because we're destroying the set today. Boom. Football. Boom. NSL is set bikes and dust. Got, got <laughs> football again. He has the last touchdown. You started to get better at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so when I became less comprehensible that it started making sense. Yeah. So anyways, about Boom. I can't do John Madden. The, no, you can't. I don't know. You sound like Meatwad. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, if I ever watch I can play the headphones, ooh, Meatwad. the only one you've ever done well. Oh, no. Oh, wait, my Bill Clinton's pretty good. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> he can do a good quagmire, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so there is your geeky news. Can you do Yoda? <laughs> no, you can't. Shut up. <laughs> hey, can you get me? Yeah, you guys. That's, that was not a Kirk. good Cartman. Me. <laughs> All right, anyways. You can do the Swedish chef. Oh, speaking of the Swedish chef. <laughs> yeah. It, and we already... Hold the picture in front of your face and do that. Wait, what? Hold the picture in front of your face and do that. No, no, no. It's hanging on the wall behind you. Up, 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 up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that kind of works, huh? We won't be needing that anymore. Oh, I put that up there. Well, you can put it back up when we're done. Hurry, <laughs> hurry, hurry, pork, pork, pork. Hurry, the chicken, hurry, the pork, pork, pork. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's make him do the rest of the show like that. <laughs> Read the news story like the Swedish chef. Oh, but I didn't get to tell him about the cool thing. Ah, we'll get to the cool thing. Oh, no. well, tell us the cool thing. The cool thing is... I'm just grabbing the microphone. That's what she said. If you go... Well, if you go on to YouTube... Uh, there's actually a Swedish chef uh, ESPN one, too. This is Sports Center, by the way. Just search this is Sports Center, Swedish yes. chef. Hello. But the Swedish Chef, also, if, uh, it's not widely known, but there's something out there called the Popcorn Song. It's been heard here and there, but you wouldn't know to look for it. But if you look up Swedish Chef Popcorn, Muppet Studios did an awesome job with the Swedish Chef doing the Popcorn Song with Popcorn Shrimp, which is how they kind of tied it all together. <laughs> God, you guys are idiots. And nerds. Yes, go on. Yeah, that's what we're smarter we than know. you. No. We know! No, we already proved it. How? Oh. Because we already said, ha ha. But ha ha doesn't make you smarter than me. Yes, it does. Or does yes. it? Yes. Did you say it? Ha ha! No, it's too late. We did it first. When? Like 10 minutes ago. Where were you? And you're the college educated one, huh? No, oh, he is. No. Oh. Anyways. Hey, no uh, he never graduated. Whatever. Can't Here's a surprise. The post credits. office is now charging oh. 46 doing? cents what? to send a first class letter out. No! Wait, wait, wait. He should go work for World Cup. He should. He wonders why we have no viewership whatsoever. <laughs> I know. <sighs> that Spanish guy's got nothing on me. We have no viewers <laughs> That's what she either. Said. We have zero viewers now. <laughs> you just blew out 700 TV speakers. That's true. I wonder how long it took him to change the channel. Um, About a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a hike over the penny of the 45 uh, cent first class stamp. No. Never no. mind. No. Never no. mind. No. 
No. Postal costs went up this past Sunday, including the price to send a letter to Canada. That's a dollar ten now across the board. When was the last time you sent anything via postal service that was like a letter? A letter? Like uh, like you needed to put a stamp on an envelope? Uh, maybe do that about three to four times a year. But I send out priority mail significant significant. Well, yeah, but those are packages. So yeah, and this is ships is different. Yeah. yeah, I mean, an actual you need a forty three to four times six a, three to four times a year. Basically, and the post office wonders why they're going under. They right. there's no need for it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know the funny part is the U uh, <laughs> the U S oh. the U S <laughs> post office charges a lot less uh, for postage than many other countries. Like Japan, they'll char I think they charge the equivalent of like 78, 79 cents. Yeah. And keep in mind, you can send a letter from here to like somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, that requires like freaking boats and airplanes to get to. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas, you know, somewhere like Germany or Japan, you're just going across the country, you can take a train there and it still costs a lot more. Yeah. Uh, frankly, I mean, we've gotten spoiled with how cheap postage is. Uh, that's because we don't use it yes. anymore. Hey, American women spend... You know what I realized? After I do one of those no things, like my voice gets better for reading. Oh, yeah. Because I kind of blew out Crap, my voice. Brad's going to have a new warm-up procedure for the show. Oh. <laughs> Just do it outside. All right. Okay, read the story. Yeah. Uh, American women spend $768 million on nail polish last year. Women's Wear Daily says that's a 32% over uh, increase. increase over 2011. It also represents a 4.3 increase from over the mass market beauty business overall. Fashionista.com says 33% of women own at least 25 bottles of nail polish. The biggest trend, sandy and matte finishes, at-home gel polishes, and nail wraps. You All right, right you let's ask it? the uh, the official non salacio female representative. Deb, how many types of nail polish do you have at home? Uh, One. More than 10? No. So less than 10? She's practical, see? <laughs> I also only have two pairs of sneakers. She only has two pairs of sneakers, too. But then you ask my roommate the same question, and she has like 100 types of nail polish and 30 sneakers. So basically, you don't, you don't have as much nail polish and sneakers as because there's no room because of your roommate. That's there you go. See. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed well to talk done. to the roommate. Actually, I'm not allowed to talk to her roommate. All right. Nail polish. Well, nail polish sales up over last year. It's like a really lame business story that's not going to news. Hey, C News. Uh, also you decided to read it. Yeah. Well, it was in there. Uh, Canadian. I'm like freaking Ron Burgundy with this stuff. Uh, C News says a man. Oh, I have a news story. You it's do. Not on here. Go on. Um, do you know CNET? See, yes, the. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking with the the dish TV? Nope. What, what I'm thinking is if you go to CNET.com, uh -huh. you can get uh, a free uh, picture editing software, $150 worth for free. Really? Until, what what until software is it? I don't remember, but I doubt it. Because I see a lot of things like free, $150 worth of software, and it's really like a piece of program that they couldn't even give away. No, it was like it's the one they use for like the CyberShot stuff. Oh, okay. It's not. It's not. A, it's not bad. I right. use, I use the base one that comes with the you know the, the my Sony camera right. just to tweak stuff. Yep. And this one it's it's actually fairly decent. All right. And it's free. Go to CNET. They send you an email. You just sign up and they give you code. It's that's it. Interesting. Yeah. You know uh, one other thing that was interesting and uh, this was um, CNET is owned it's, by. Uh, no. Away. So y you're obviously familiar with CNET, which is in case you're not aware, uh, it's a tech news website. They do reviews. Uh, they do everything. Yeah, and uh, this isn't on here either, so please forgive me if I can't remember the, the actual product. Uh, but it was, I think it had to do with, oh, you know, it was like Dishes, uh, Dishes TV with Sling. What, what the heck do they call that? Um, it, it had a funny, funny name. With, I don't know. It, it was basically, it was Dish, Dish Networks TV with a Sling Box built into it. And it was so you could like you know shift programs and do all sorts of really cool stuff with that. Mm -hmm. And CNET at CES show named them their product of the show, just overall. Yeah. Uh, and then C CBS came in and said no, it's not because uh, we don't like them because you can fast forward through commercials basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and so C uh, so CNET basically got overruled by like Viacom and CBS. Their editorial judgment got overruled 
because they're saying, hey, we don't like this thing. Which, there was a huge uproar over that because it's basically, now CNET has no editorial credibility in it anymore. No, I still think that they do. No, I really, see, here's the thing, though. If, if their corporate overlords can come in and go, you know, no, we don't like this because, uh, you know, even though it's a great product, you know, it, we don't like it because of our business model, you know? Yeah. That's not independent reviews. That's, edi that's editors getting overruled because of corporate interests. So that's like every not, news agency in the world. Yeah. You're not going to find one really that's not True. managed in some fashion. Yeah, but none so heavy-handed. You will never find one so heavy-handed. Okay. Anyways. Anyway. I'll still read CNET. Uh, I'll just stick to Gizmodo and Engadget. Uh, and BBC. And BBC, yep. Yeah. There we go. So, Brad. Yes? I have a top five for you. Oh, oh, and go MJ. on. What are the top five pizza sale days? Super Bowl Sunday. It's number one. Halloween. That's number three. What the hell is that? It's the bathroom fan. Is it going to blow up? Probably. Oh. Uh, New Year's Day. Number five. Um, what about New Year's Eve? It's number two. <laughs> Suck it. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's not on there. That's not bad. We got four out of five right off. Labor Day? Nope. No. Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. Nope. Day after Thanksgiving? <laughs> no. Day before Thanksgiving? No. All right. Cyber Monday, because it's the biggest geek day in the world. It's the night before Thanksgiving, not the day before oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> so we got all five. You got all five. Yeah. That I wasn't part of this. You got to count it with him. Oh, here. Do me a favor. Pass this over to Brad. All right. Thanks. It didn't hurt, so that's good. That's, there, there you go. go. I had to get the sound. Not yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, <sighs> well, that's not the usual normal debate. Okay, no. We just blew through that list and one, two, three, four, five. It was about food. That's true. So, do we have a top three? Because we have a. Oh, yeah, we did forget to do that. No, no, we do have a top three. Oh, what is it? Top three things you still just don't get. Girls. No, we're not doing it yet. Well, Unless you want to do it right now. We're I mean, demolish the set at oh, 10 yeah, o'clock. That's right. We have. Twenty minutes. Well, we can do the top three while we're demolishing the set. Are we going to be mic'd up for this? Why not? So, top three things were, and you disconnected the mic. I can always reconnect it. That's true. Connecting on the fly. Connecting on the fly. Okay. Right. So, top three things you still <laughs> just don't get. Why Pat disconnected the mic? Because Rob said it was okay, and we had like. A minute to show. If Rob said it was okay to jump off a cliff and it was a minute to the show. Would you do it? Probably. Yeah. All actually. Right. Just clarifying. Rob's never seen me wrong. <sighs> That's not entirely true. All right. No. Uh, no. Well, there was that time he drove into a tree. Um, yeah, but that was due to Apple Maps. <laughs> true. <laughs> That's accurate as well. He's still well. steering the car. Uh, no. Um, so you said girls. Um, let's see what. Hair bands. Yeah, hair bands. Well, wait, like 80s hair bands or like, the like things that women Twisted wear? Twisted Sister and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. I, I, yeah, I don't get those things. Why do you put stuff around your hair? Scrunchies? Yeah. What, what, what is that? I mean... No, 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 like the big... No. like. Yes, 80s hair bands. Really? How did that catch on? Because like, it was the 80s. <laughs> All right, well, let me, let me take that one further. I just further. still don't get it. 80s hair bands who wear ridiculous makeup. Yeah. Like Actually, pretty much we just narrowed that down to Twisted Sister and Kiss. And Kiss, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, every other band's moved on. ICP, yeah, that too. Marilyn Manson. He's just creepy. Yeah, uh, he doesn't do, like, big hair stuff. Yeah. Curry. Anyway. And Curry? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see, what else? Come on, guys. I've come <laughs> up with everything. That's true, you have. I don't get why Pat's come up with everything, and neither of us has come up with anything. Because I didn't even know what the top three was. So I don't get top, a, I don't well, get I know a what lot it is things. now. Oh, well, I, I didn't you, know what it was I thought before. you forgot. I thought that's why you're so silent over there. Like, top three things people just don't get. And be like, la, da, da. What's the, the top three? This top three. Yeah, this top three. I don't get this top three. Uh, I, don't, I don't get... No, that's not much I don't get. No, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I was just going to go down that road. I have Funny a new, enough. By the way, I have a new term. I scream in my car. Situational awareness! 
That's true. He has screamed that with me in the car. Yes. <laughs> that that too. Well, this that, is, that comes after. That comes after. I've never heard that. Situation I'm gonna awareness. Have to, I'm going to have to ride with you more often. Yeah. Uh, that is just, I, I don't get how people drive down the road like complete idiots and they can't figure out why people hate them. Yeah. I don't get it. You just cut off a tanker truck and he's on your ass and blowing his horn. And you get mad at him. And, and you're getting mad at the dude. It's like, what? I didn't do anything here. He just locked up 18 wheels of petroleum, and you can't figure out why he's pissed. Yeah. yeah. I don't... What the hell it, is wrong with you? Unless you're carrying an axe or a chainsaw, I don't get plaid. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I'm just saying... <laughs> I don't care if we come up with the best one in the world. That's getting number one. I don't care. <laughs> Wearing plaid if you're not a lumberjack. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta, you gotta well, wait, 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 wait. What about pajamas? No, no, no. No, 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 no. I still don't get it. Even still? Yeah. All right. You have to put it the exact way that Brad said it. <laughs> if you're not carrying an axe, you know what? Or I'm going to take out the tablet. I don't today. get plaid. Since frankly, frankly, if if you're wearing plaid pajamas and carrying an axe or a chainsaw, I get it. You're a lumberjack who just woke up. Okay. <laughs> I wear it's all plaid, right. though. I get it. It's cool. I just don't get it. I like the design. Mm -hmm. It's just lines. Right. Um, banana hammock. What about it? I don't get it. I just put it there keeps so it all, ripens keeps faster. Keeps everything in place. But it ripens Briefs faster do when that you put too. it in. Doesn't it? What's that? It ripens faster when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> no? What? You don't put a real banana in there, Jay. <laughs> Why not? I always thought it was weird how you had the freaking mountain in your freaking kitchen, but... Yeah, but it does right faster. He's got with clothespins in his fridge. No, <laughs> he's got it's, like three it's, of them there. It's no, like it's one right for in, you, it's right one in the for you, and one for you. He's got a little Caribbean music, and he goes in there every couple of hours and starts swaying them. Yeah. <laughs> I always have a ripe banana. That's what she said. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Why is this happening? Yes. Uh, um, do we have to have a talk after the show again? We do. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. need to learn something. Probably with the sensors, but that's besides the point. <laughs> that's underwear that you have your bananas in, Jay. Mm hmm. I don't have bananas. I'm human. And why would you put your banana down there? That's kind of weird. We really do have to... Exactly. Is this like a headband thing again? Mm. Headbands. They keep the sweat out of your eyes. That's what hair's for. Shut up! That's what your eyebrows are for. No. Shut up! In oh, that wait. No, in that department, <laughs> do-rags. I don't get yeah. do-rags. No. In, unless like you're rolling around in the grass on a spring morning in the morning dew. They're not meant... But they that's not dew, that's sweat. That's, sweat the wrong type, that's the wrong type of dew. <laughs> well, what other dew is there? Humans don't pr Hair produce dew. dew. Hair, Hair dew. dew? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get how Jay doesn't know what the difference between dew and, and dew. dew. Mount, mountain dew? Yes. Ooh. Uh, it's basically the, the poor or badass man's uh, hair tie. Poor or badass man's. Either Covering you yourself with that one badass, it's like, oh, I watch this show. Yeah, he's like, I'm coming. <laughs> never mind. Because he said I could be badass. Yeah, never mind. Are you making fun of his outfit right now? Yeah, I don't think the guy that's uh, wearing the hat should be making fun of people wearing two rags. I wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> I was making fun of. The, I was, was. I was pantomiming the guy getting angry at Brad for making fun of him. Okay. Sure. Which in turn was making fun of them all even more. No, it wasn't. By the way, I'm wearing a do rag and a hair tie. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. he's funny. Um, <laughs> I don't get. It's like a maid with a mustache. <laughs> you know what something else I don't get? What? Honey boo boo. Yes! Do not get this infatuation with Honey this, Boo Boo. I think Jersey borderline Shore. stupid six year old from the South. What do you mean borderline? I had other stronger words, but I don't want to be offensive. To, her, ones. to a child. Well, I don't care if she's a child. She's is what she is. Mm. But you, you have this absolute redneck it's family. Not that you don't Everyone get, is falling in love with this six year old. It's not that you don't get Honey Boo Boo, it's that you don't get the show. You're right, I don't. They have, it's a bunch of like damn near borderline incest people. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, cutest one, which is not saying much, is knocked up, isn't she? I don't, I. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I, I, so apparently you've watched the show. No, I have not seen it. No, I, right. I listen to Howard Stern. So oh, okay, I get my little bits of information from there. There's something I don't get. Howard Stern. I get Howard Stern. You know Stern. what I don't get? HBO. Uh, I, I don't get a lot of channels because I don't get it. It's I don't subscribe. Oh. oh. Terrible. So you don't get stars, you don't get encore, I don't, I don't, don't get, get any of that now. No, that's what Netflix is for. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. I don't get people who still have all these cable channels for $8,000 a month when you have Netflix. It's true. I don't get that. But still, watch us. Well, we're, we're basic cable. We're okay. Yeah, as long as they... We, we cost like 20 <laughs> bucks a month. You still want to watch us, right? That's true. Well, no, right? actually, Brad, we have a Netflix deal. Woohoo! Brad. You get a dollar. Yeah, we have a Netflix deal. Yeah, yes. We do? Yeah. We do now. We subscribe? By the way, I meant to tell no, you. No, 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 no. I got us a deal with Netflix. Oh, so that's the, fantastic. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Great. When are we going to be on? I'm uh, movies for $10 a month. We're, we're, we're going to be on Eight. in uh, 2014. The, the deal starts first quarter 2014. That's highly unlikely. But go on. We can just keep putting it off. Oh, the deal got delayed again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Netflix is very surprised to learn. They made a deal with us. Uh, no, um, uh, let's see. What else? What else I don't get? <sighs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> he's a podiatrist, you know. I think he's a podiatrist. Or something like that. No, 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 no. He never, he never got in trouble for that. No? No. <laughs> She got the joke. Oh, I got it. I'm just <laughs> calculating my response. Uh, okay, now, uh, along with Dr. Phil, Oprah. I don't get how she got so famous. I was going to well, say Well, if you give a card, everyone. <laughs> you, get a car, I, you get a card, you get a card. I broke. like Oprah. I'd be broke. Yeah, that's oh. true. I broke my mic again. Before that, yeah. Because she was so big. <laughs> ha! I wanted to that joke. Dude. It hurts all of our feelings. When Fatter you than us, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do understand that Ellen is the new Oprah. Is she? Yeah. How is she the new? I ain't dancing They're around. They're nowhere close to each other. <laughs> She's the new, skinnier, whiter, lesbianer version of Oprah. The <laughs> lesbianer version. Yes. Okay. The, a- the act of being more of a lesbian. Fair enough. Thank you. I mean, in that case, I'm the lesbianer. And she got this new, new freaking Portia de Rossi, and she's hot. There you go. So. <laughs> She's winning. And then well done. Yeah, I don't know who she is. But I heard she was pretty decent, too. Yeah. Yep. I don't get... Advanced quantum physics yet. Not what about quantum that. mechanics? I understand the general principles. You're an idiot. <laughs> you understand That's high-tech That's the first thing. time that, that, those words and quantum physics have ever been uttered in the You same. understand quantum <laughs> mechanics. You're an idiot. <laughs> In the same sense. Um, I don't understand Star Trek. If Leonardo da Vinci were here, yeah. he'd slap it you. It was 12 episodes. How did it get so big? 12 episodes? Two seasons. Actually, three seasons. TOS was about, what, 30? How many seasons was the original series? Three? Three. Yeah. So, okay, like it was 15 like 30 episodes. Something, you know, no, it was, it was in the 30s. like 60. I'm ex- totally expecting something that? to get thrown at me. It was like 60-something episodes, wasn't it? You want me to look this up? No. no. I can look it up here if I really want um, you see, you, don't, you still don't get Star Trek. No. No? That, they mean, made movies out of it, and yeah. Captain Kirk was apparently a hottie back in the day. He's 80 now, you know. Is he really? Yeah. Priceline guy's 80? Yeah. That's True. the funny part. Now, it's not that he's going to be known as the Star Trek guy. He's going to be Price known as the Priceline guy. Yeah. Hey, this guy saved me a whole bunch of money on my trip to Central Acapulco. New Jersey. Acapulco. Yes. Terry, Terry Farrell is my, oh, my God. Things I want to do to her. Okay. Um, mm. If you can talk about Captain Kirk being a hottie, I can talk about Terry Farrell being a hottie. I don't get. I don't get Hello Kitty. At least she's a woman. That's because you're not a little girl. How did Hello Kitty get? That's so big? out for debate. <laughs> have you have you ever seen Have you ever seen Hello Kitty on TV? No. Yes. Yes. In America. Hello Kitty rock. She is so goth. She's a goth cat. How did? How is she still so big then? Jap anime. You're a boy, you wouldn't care. <laughs> That's true. It's called Japanese. Six-year-olds get tired of it. They just you know what I you know what I don't get? <laughs> uh, you know what I didn't get? Biker mice from Mars. It's yeah, the teddy bear. 
I don't... <laughs> 90s television cartoon. Yeah, I know. The entire theme song was okay. Biker Mice from Mars. Da 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 da. Biker Mice from Mars. Da 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 da. Biker Mice from Mars. Da 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 da. What is catching? Biker Mice from Mars. Da 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 da. We got it. Yeah. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> anyway I'm, I'm, I'm rocking out on the inside I don't <laughs> on that on the the theme of cartoons I don't get Captain Planet Right. Now, I get the premise of Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Yeah, he's our hero. Yeah, he's going to bring pollution down to zero. Got it. But, um, <laughs> well, then there you go. That was the best heading off of a theme song I've ever seen. Now I'll give you a counter for that. Um, but you got fire. Huh? Earth, fire, wind, water. And- Shush! Yeah, you got fire. <laughs> Don't ruin it! Yeah, I know. You got water, right? Yeah. They can, they can burn things or make things flood. Wind, you can like create a tornado. Earth, well, they make earthquakes. Um, and heart. Uh huh. What the hell's the point of the heart? Other than to like pump blood to our brains and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Why did they need that? Why did they need uh, Mati? They didn't, frankly. It was, a, it was a special ed kid they brought around with him. <laughs> his ring really didn't do anything. <laughs> they didn't do anything. And he was always the one who got his ass kicked in the show. Yeah, he was always in trouble. And he'd like. Uh, heart. Heart. And then his monkey would come and then go running over the planet's ears. It's like, so it lets his. An animal come to see that you're in trouble, like right. Lassie. Yeah, and go. And, go and, then, and then, yeah, he was the <laughs> he was the little Timmy from Captain Planet. Timmy, <laughs> Timmy, <laughs> You do that way too well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Timmy, <laughs> Timmy. But then Ted Turner <laughs> became Captain Planet. True story. Yeah. I don't get why he was in that show. I don't either. See? You yeah. don't get it either. That's a good one. Yeah. You know what I don't Point get? for me. Why mm-hmm. cool shows that are on TV that people actually like and have a cult following always disappear and get canceled? Yeah. No. Because not enough people like them. Yeah. Well, that's so obviously not true because then you have message boards like out them. the ass saying, why are you taking this off the air? Blah, blah, blah. Because still more people don't care. Oh. No. Yeah. Firefly went too soon. Yep. Uh, uh, we've got to compile our top three out of this. Subject. Uh, we still have eight minutes until the destruction of mankind. Well, we occurs. still got to do what we learned today. Unless we're going to shout it over the microphone. Oh, no. we can shout it over the microphone. Oh, we, we don't could. know because the door is now closed and we can barely hear you. Uh, no. Good. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, we're getting, ah! we're getting high tech ah! wireless microphones. The, so far. <laughs> We read three, three stories. stories. Yay. <laughs> I can see Rob's thoroughly entertained. Keep, keep, keep going about your uh, whatever yeah. thing here. The whatever thing? Yeah, just keep going about the thing. We're going to... Okay. So I'll now get to your mic. All right, fair enough. So well, you can see how see entertained Rob is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Just because I'm playing solitaire. <laughs> yeah, that's legit solitaire. What are you, a state representative? So, right, let's, let's compile our top really three here. Really good. So you're doing pretty good. Oh, wait. Oh, right, wait, wait, wait. Here's what I don't get. The apocalypse. Well, yeah, because no one got it. Yeah, well, let's face it. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. Let's face it. I don't get zombies. No? Yeah, why you, are you they have, here yet? You have to be one Oh, of oh, that. <laughs> I thought you meant just the general concept of that. No, I understand that. It's just some genetic mutation that makes people's brains actually be active while they're dead. But why don't we have them? I have aggression that needs to get out, Brad. And so why don't you just become a zombie and then take your aggression out? Because then I'd be beating myself up, and that'd just be wrong. Not really. Zombies go after the living. You have to eat brains. That'd be slow and even more stupid. But people will be infatuated with you at the same time. Did you know brains are the most nutritional part of any... Uh... Why do you know that? Well, think In about case. it. It's a lot of protein and a lot of fat. I don't get why Brad knows that. Brains are nutritious. I'm never sleeping over Brad's house, <laughs> no. ever. He's sleeping over me with a spoon. <laughs> you're you're going to wake don't up. Don't mind me. You'll wake up three in the morning, all of a sudden, one eye's just going to boink. Brad, why are you staring at me with a spoon? No reason. Um, 
<laughs> this is a little. <laughs> <laughs> and your dremel. Why do you have a cutting blade on your dremel? All right, time for our mm. time to compile our top three here. Okay, number one has got to be the plaid. If you're not, if you're not carrying yeah, an axe or a chainsaw, chainsaw, I don't get plaid. Yeah. Um, number two is why Brad knows that the brain is the most nutritional part of the body. Hold on, it's going to take me a second <laughs> to get number one. <laughs> I'll give you that. All right, fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I say three is Honey Boo Boo. Three is Honey Boo Boo. With honorable mentions, though. Oh, wait, do we want to do Honey Boo Boo or just all reality TV and why people Stupid are obsessed reality with TV. it? Stupid reality TV. By the way, I love your... Uh, I, I didn't quite get your top three last week, Jay. Why we like... Uh, why, why oh, yeah, that was top, a typo. And I why do you think Top Gear UK is uh, so much worse than Top Gear UK? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason like, I went to that side of the keyboard and then I couldn't edit it again. Honorable mentions? Um, Was that Axe or, or Chainsaw? Hmm? For Plaid? Well, Axe or Chainsaw. Okay. Yeah. Um, honorable mentions, why they designed Captain Crunch to cut the roof of your mouth. Yeah! Because you figure they can round the edges at this point. You'd think they'd make something that doesn't make you bleed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First off, if you're really concerned about your health and safety, you don't eat caffeine. That's true, but, but, yeah. but besides that. You ever get like one of those like little like, you the know. The clusters of them? Well, yeah, well, that, see, that was the thing about Halloween, like snack pack of like Captain Crunch and be getting that and eating it and be like, oh, mom, my mouth is bleeding. Who put a razor blade in your kitty? Oh, it's just Captain Crunch. Okay, honey, <laughs> don't worry. We've all been there. Yeah, we've all been there. Yep. Why Captain Crush makes your mouth You lived on a weird street, bro. They never gave out cereal where I lived. I got, like, Snickers and... They used to have bagged cereal. You know, used underwear and stuff like that. Yeah, that, yeah. well, it was Winstead. Yeah, it was better than a razor. They gave me the option. Razor blade or my used underwear? I said, used underwear, please. There you go. Yeah. And the other honorable mention... What was number two? Why Brad knows brains are oh, the most nutritional right, okay. part of the body. Yeah. Um, Braids are nutritionists. This top three. This top three, yes. <laughs> oh, there you go, that works. How's it going there, uh, Swimmy? <laughs> Anyways. All right, we'll do How a couple new stories and then we'll get to tearing apart the set. We will. We will. I mean, we will. We will. So I have to be excited for these things. We wait, wait, will. Wait. You want to you wanna start? We should probably start taking some pictures of the set before we tear this damn thing apart. No, we can do that. Don't worry. Okay. We got it. All right. We got it. Christy, take care of it. But you don't have the iPhone 5 with the super high-res camera. Okay, it's only... I like have the Galaxy S3 with the super high-res camera. Do you want to have... What does that have for megapixels on Eight it? million. Ooh, eight million pixels? Yes. Ooh, that's like a lot of pixels. Actually, it's exactly the same as your cameras. <laughs> Yay! It's the same. Yeah, basically. All right, new story. All right, no one cares about... Uh, let's see. Well, actually, wait. C News says a man in Ontario, Canada, was pulled over for allegedly failing to stop at his red light. Uh, cops say when they approached a 45-year-old Dirk LePage to smell his license... Oh. To smell his license? To check his license and registration. I skipped a line. They noticed something weird in addition Not to, important. The, to the alleged smell of alcohol on his breath. Officers said LePage had ice skates on his feet. Well, that's Canada. He probably was just playing hockey drunk. <laughs> Police say he passed a breathalyzer, but he still got a I ticket right. for the ice skates. Uh, let's see. Who cares about Adele... Oh, hey, the Washington Nationals have added a new president for their uh, race during the fourth inning. Up until now, the four presidents have been the same ones on Mount Rushmore, Washington, Lincoln, Jefferson, and Roosevelt. Uh, last season, everyone was rooting for the Teddy to win the race, which he finally did to celebrate the Nationals reaching the postseason. This year, the Nats are bringing out a fifth president, William Howard Taft. Who's that? Um, he was a former president. He's probably well. Done. When? Oh, uh... How is he going to be a judge? Or 19... 1908. How's he going to be a judge? He's not going to be a judge. He's going to be one of the mascots. Right? I thought you said he was going to be on American Idol. No. Oh. Uh, actually, it's a good cho uh, choice because he began the tradition of tossing out the first pitch in the game in 1910. And also widely credited with a having accidentally created the seventh inning stretch. There you go. Uh, hey, did you know the world's, uh, most of the world's top earning models are Victoria's Secret models? Yep. Six of the ten women's named a Forbes 2012 top earners list include on, uh, a couple months ago were current or former angels for the lingerie retailer. That includes top model Giselle Bunch, more than 45 million. Miranda Kerr, uh, Dutzen Kraus, uh, Alessandra Ambrosio are all top earners who are also Victoria's Secret models. And Slaughter. 
Uh, let's see. Do, 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 no one cares. <laughs> oh, Hulk Such Hogan. Such riveting stories. Do you Hulk know Hogan. What time it is? Are we doing what we learned today, or are we going to do it at the end of the show? We'll do it at the end of the show. End of the show? Hey, uh, Hulk Hogan. Who knows what kind of action that's going to happen when we take this part? Yeah, Hulk Hogan uh, tweeted a really pervy picture of his daughter. Who did? What? Hulk Hogan. Oh, and you go. Well, look at well he's no saint himself, so. What? Dude, I I mean, she is, she is good looking. Someone turned it in? What? Oh, you're moving. I wanted one. Wait, what? The the picture of, of Brooke Holden, Ho- Hogan? No, the New York Post says, uh, this is in Seattle. It says, someone turned in a full size missile launcher to police. Oh. The good news is the missile was not capable of being <laughs> fired. The bad news is uh, police say the reason it could, uh, couldn't be fired is because someone had already fired it. Yes! Got it! I shouldn't be counting it because it's... Well, I got mine too. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should check mine. Cops sure. are not trying to figure out the origin of the heavy weaponry. The person who turned it in claimed to have purchased it on the street for $100. Uh, let's see. Super Bowl, the Sunday, but the halftime show may not be what you're expecting. Beyonce will still be performing, but Destiny's Child reunion may have been canceled. Or it was never supposed to happen in the first place. Group member Michelle Williams told WRUG Media Group says uh, that the reunion is just a rumor and she'll be touring uh, in the touring company of the musical Fella in Washington, D.C. that night. Uh, let's see. Well, do you really need anybody other than Beyonce in a Destiny's Child reunion? No. Hey, how about this? An ounce of cocaine can fetch as much as $1,300 on the streets of Miami. That's not pervy. Or a three-year mandatory prison sentence in criminal court. But it ended up helping fourth grader Emma Bartlett win first place in the That's science fair at a school. All. Of course, she had some help. Her dad took out for the Miami Dade, <laughs> Miami Dade uh, Police Narcotics Bureau. He provided her with three drug, sn- uh, drug sniffing dogs, two other officers, and 28 grams of coke uh, <laughs> for bad? her drug sniffing dogs experiment. The goal was to find which dog would find the cocaine fastest using its sense of smell. Uh, FYI, a district spokesman explained that cocaine is not specifically banned as material by district science fair rules. I hear she won first place. Buy a nose! Uh, uh, wait, was that a joke? No. <laughs> it, was, it, it was a close simulation. Oh, okay. Hey, now good news for TNT. She's an opener in Dallas. Is down by more than 50% over last year. Would they still have that show? Apparently. Uh, let's see... Hey, new mom Drew Barrymore has a secret for getting her makeup on in just 60 seconds, but no one cares about that. Hey, <laughs> goodbye, Hostess Twinkies. Hello, Apollo Twinkies, or maybe Pabst Blue Ribbon Twinkies? Wait, what? They're thinking of buying Hostess? The Wall Street Journal reports that two private equity companies, Apollo Global Management and C.D. Metropolis, which owns Pabst, are, that's how it's Twinkies? spelled, are close to deal with more than $400 million to buy the Twinkies brand from Baker Hostess. The bid would serve as one... To beat in an upcoming bankruptcy okay. court auction. No. Now it seems oh, unlikely yeah. any other suitor would do. Pass it down. <laughs> Super was buzzing down. over reports that Hawaiian Garrett take, McNamara take one, take one, got the holy girl to sport a hundred foot wave. Take one, pass it down. Which is pretty cool. Take one, pa- oh. Oh, I got the Bose one. Sweet. Hey, documentary on Snoop Dogg. Perhaps oh. uh, we should say dogumentary so called mm-hmm. Reincarnated is being rolled out March 15th. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have one. Nope. <laughs> no one cares. It sounds personal. Mine's limp. Ooh. It is. Brad, is yours limp too? What's that? Is yours limp? Mine is it's large fine. and in charge. Don't touch. Oh, hey, you know how they... Uh, oh, this is great. Oh, boy. Uh, they have a whole bunch of Super Bowl betting. Uh, I bet on the Chargers. Here, here's the over-under on the national anthem. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, they always go closer to two minutes in the Super Bowl because the anthem is really about the singer, not the song, but that's a really long time. To give you an idea how long two minute, 15 second anthem is, Kelly Clarkson clocked in uh, last year at one minute, 35 seconds. Kella, do, 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 Christina Aguilera's last performance went a minute, 45. Carrie Underwood went uh, just over one minute, 43 seconds. Odds Alicia will screw up or forget at least one word. Uh, yes, plus 150, no, minus 200. Odds Beyonce. Wait, who's singing the national anthem? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Odds Alicia will screw up at least, or forget at least one. Or, I'm sorry. Odds Beyonce will be joined on stage by husband, husband Jay Z during a halftime show at any point. Yes, plus one ten. No, minus one fifty. Odds Beyonce's Beyonce's hair will be straight. Uh, minus one forty for curly or crimped. Even money at the beginning uh, of the halftime show. Uh, Gatorade shower 
uh, color uh, for uh, the teams. Yellow. Here are the odds. Yellow. Clear water, seven to four. Yellow, five to two. Orange, five to two. Red, thirteen to two. Green, thirteen to two. And blue, thirteen to two. Uh, let's see. It's always yellow. Yep, something like that. And uh, actually, if the Ravens win, I can see them doing blue. Yep, that's well, pretty crazy. How's hey, that? Hey, the Vince Lombardi Trophy cost twelve thousand a pop. How about that? Uh, but you know what time it is? Time for us to demo. Demo. Uh, let me uh, turn that on. Disconnect wired. Mics on? Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. Uh, so we're just getting some last-minute <laughs> pictures of the set before its uh, ultimate demise. Pat. Huh? Yeah, you got the here. We're gonna have to move everything out of there. Oh. What so, but ma. And I gotta take a group picture. Woohoo! Groupage. So I'll post these pictures on our Facebook site. Is that my site, mic? Facebook.com slash NSLS TV. Just put your damn microphone on that. Because you're clipping it on things. Now you're making Rob do it. You're making it worse. You're making it worse. Do it right this All right, hold on. Why do we always just use the wireless? Constantly doing that. Well, because they were always unreliable. Oh, okay. Well, they still kind of are. Wait, are they... All right, hold What's on. happening? Why is this? Hey. What is going on here? Oh. Pat, your phone's over here on the table. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna throw it all in this chair. <laughs> And all this is for your entertainment, people. It is. And because we have to do this anyways. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Because of your new, better, improved cable optimum, whatever the crap is that, this is Do you have an iPhone anymore. 5? Do you have an iPhone 47? Higher res. <laughs> now let's see how short I really am. Yay, here is Pat's actual height. Here's my actual height. What do you mean that wasn't goofy? <laughs> oh. Wait. What? Yeah. It was dark. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, this is this kind of kind of can't comment on it. Thumb wrestling, but yeah, that's it. Do we just have a thumb three way? I think so. Weird well, that pose. Wasn't the weird oh, that pose. wasn't weird. It's on guard pose. It's on guard. I don't even know what that means. Weird for the sake of weird. Oh. Not me. Planking okay. on the top of the set. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Where's Brad? Top of the set. I think by plank, if by now planking, you mean things. like planking on a neck board? <laughs> no. I mean yes. I mean yes. No. All right. There's a couple things we have to save. 
Hold on. Dark board. I, I got my Uber hammer. Uber hammer. Hold on. Yep, deep fried white has to be safe. <laughs> this is pretty hard. Well, you. Thank you. Oh yeah, license plate has to come off. Yeah, that goes all the way through. Take Actually. Wait, well, let me have that while you do that. So for those of you that have always heard about the Happy Heine toilet paper, this is what it actually looks like close up. And as you can see, it's sponsored, even though he doesn't know it, by Jamie Heinen. Because that's have, really hard. Happy Don't Heine. even bother. Oh, no, I can get through it. But that's an inside joke between three, I'm just afraid four, I'm five, nine of us. You will. Brad, hold it. Oh, wait, I want to no you, trespassing you this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nuts on the back. Ah, sure. there's nuts. Oh. I'm going to put this on my house and make people not come here. That's cool. Do you have a wrench? Uh, oh, that's actually screwed in. Yeah. There's oh, bolts shit. on the back. Me? Who do you think? Oh, wait, you said beaver. <laughs> Alright, she come off. What did she do? Wait, is this it? No, -uh, come on. What? Oh, that's awesome if this says what I think it says. It does. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah, buddy! Score! Uh, I don't get one! Not my fault your name isn't my name. <laughs> it's not fault, Jay. Your name isn't the previous co host. Co host's <laughs> name? Alright, right, hold on. <laughs> oh, you got it? I got it. <laughs> that was awesome because it sounded like it hurt. Come, come on. on! Come on, fastball! Yeah, there we go. All right, anyways. Look at the size of that bad boy. It ain't going to hurt for long. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll eventually catch you. <laughs> Uber hammer. Where'd you go? Oh. Brad. Yeah, well. It doesn't work. Why? Fuck! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's happening back there? Ah! <laughs> if I only had an axe. Yeah. I can't. I can't get my Thor hammer out. Brad, where are you? Probably too close. <laughs> Uh, I gotta get my hammer. <laughs> I like how you take the other part and you give me a hammer. Yeah. What do you expect me to do with a hammer? There's a pry bar over there! I did. That's what she said? It's just to hold the hammer, okay? It's all it's there for. All I right. couldn't. Pat, let me give you the quick overview. Yeah. These are held... That pant, this part here is held on. You gotta get between this and pry the face off. I see what the hammer's for now. Yep. Good lord! I feel better already. Right? Up there. I hit a stud. I was gonna say you might have hit two by four <laughs> in that one. Huh? Why? Okay. Don't break any optimum own equipment. Can I see for a second? No. How dare you break your own invention? Oh, dual wield. Yeah, come on. You're going to. What? We, we are. We, we already got that part, Dad. We know. Brad, Brad just has some aggression to get out. This girl. Here you go. Thanks. Here, here you, go. you can get under here. Here you go, Jay. I loosened it for you. What are you trying to say? We only got 15 minutes to take the same thing apart. Wait, we do? Holy crap! <laughs> well done! 
Oh no, you didn't. Watch out, Brad. Bradford. Abort. Abort. Oh. Oh. Welcome to Home Improvements with the Not So Late Show. I I, I, yeah! I should Break have stuff. Some funny and glue. Okay, <laughs> now what? <laughs> if, you can, if you can read this, something went wrong. The carpet should just peel off, hopefully. We'll be the judge of that. Oh, no. Now with more rifle flavor. Yay. <laughs> now you see, folks, when you want to remove the car, you've got to get away from the edge. What you need to do is start from the edge and pull <laughs> steadily but firmly away. Careful. Should we lay this down? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like fun or entertaining at all. <sighs> It should just come right off. That's what she said. I think it's an improvement, actually. <laughs> Not Bob Saget, too. Bob Saget. <laughs> and Jay. And me. OK, that's acceptable. Thank you. What's up? <laughs> I think you were just hit and run. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Why do I not see this going? Well, I'll start unscrewing. Okay. <laughs> That's what... No, wait. She couldn't say that. I don't know how much glue you put on these. What? Oh. <laughs> Not as effective as the hammer. She just come right off, he says. That's what she oh. said. Yeah, well... Jay? That. Do you have the knife? I have a knife. Yeah. I see it. Excuse me. It's still clamped together. Barely. I don't think it's clamped together anymore. <laughs> Just saying. That's my lucky quarter. Oh, oh, Just get away from the edges, he said. <laughs> oh, by the way, the center is where the most glue is. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, no. Oh, oh. Hey, you're coming up. Try what you want. Hear that. Huh. That worked a little. That was cool. Whoa. I'm not gonna hit your hand. I know, but it's loud! <laughs> Very light. Well, see, don't make a lot of little pieces. That's a pain in the ass. What? What's, what's the. I think your battery is. Oh. Brad, there's glue all over it. There's glue. I know, I put it there. <laughs> it's not just on the edges. It's ever, I don't, I just need to get to the edges. That's all I Everywhere. gotta do. Oh. That's where the screws are. Yeah. All right, here we go. Where's the next one? Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, they're in the middle, too. Damn it! Why'd you have to be so efficient? The way this set lasted as long as it did. Yeah. Okay. Still 
holding it on? I don't know. Did, oh, wait, no, did okay. you glue the panels to the 2 by 4s Well, I think there's a screw up here somewhere. Screw. Pardon me, I'm being beckoned. Where's the bar? Here. What? Hit it in with the hammer. I know, I got stuck in my sleeve. Gross things. I just don't want to hit you in the face with this. I think it'd be extremely hilarious if he got hit in the face. This is what the, the hell top. is it getting? Hold up up top? Yeah. No. Sorry. Somebody give me a hammer. If I had a hammer. Just, you hold there and we'll whack it. I did glue it. You ass. Yeah, well. Damn you three year, nine year ago, Brad. Hold on. Oh god. Why'd you buy such good material? I don't know. <laughs> that didn't work as well as you thought, did it? All I know is I'm glad I'm working tomorrow You know, morning. let's save the, this. <laughs> let's save the hinges and the casters and the rest of it goes in the dumpster. I thought all of it was going in the dumpster. I was gonna try and save the two by fours. No. <laughs> Hammer. Hammer. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't hit it with that. Where's that one? Hold on, hold on. Alright. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, go blow, damn. Um. <sighs> it's all bent now. <laughs> oh, darn. Think I can throw it in? <laughs> the control room says no. Alright. It's fun doing hey, Pat, this. Hold the center. Ah, I was gonna say, let's just the center. Let's just disconnect the uh, hinges and we'll just. Take you them understand? Off. I'm the shortest member on this crew. <laughs> I know that's why it's funny. <laughs> Fringe right here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Oh, we have release. No, nope. uh, yeah, one more. Come in. Come in. You know how we did the standard one, two, three, go, go. I think we should do a standard knock also. I like the four better. Yeah, Does that just sound more natural? What about? No, it's stupid. No, no more scope. This is like trying to do shaving a haircut. No. No. Timber! Oh. And by timber, I mean we're laying it down. Um. Slowly set the hair and everything. Oh, you gotta get three into that. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me see the marker. Let me see the marker. Oh, it's five cents. Or something. Yeah, I gotta put five cents up here. Put it on his forehead. Okay. No, oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> 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 what are you What are you reaching for, baby boy? Right, hold on. <laughs> hold, hold, hold this. <laughs> we. Happening. I don't know, but I'm still holding the setup. <laughs> and you're doing a damn fine job of it. Thank you. Way. It hasn't fallen. That means you're doing your job. Hey, Deb. Hi, Deb. Or is that Rob? That's me. Well, it's Rob. Rob. I thought it said Deb. Rob, Deb. I don't know. It's all the way. So, anyway, what are we doing? Oh. Actually, it doesn't say up the top about psychiatric help. Yeah, but for our purposes. 
Brad, did you make fall off? Jay. Yeah, I did. That's right, he's gonna say Right. Five minutes. Five minutes to destroy things. What did we learn today? Oh yeah. I learned that this I really, really put this together really damn well. I learned that you put this together no. really damn well. Brad, hold the middle. That's what she said. We all learned. I learned that this is a you're gonna stay right there. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh wait, let's let's do some secrets of the background. <laughs> I think they've seen all the secrets there are in the background. Oh, there's actually still some over here too. Behind the scenes. Secrets? Yeah, behind the scenes secrets Is of the, the penis not so late. Over there? No, probably. Put the penis on. All right, so wait, wait, wait. So we have the little. Oh yeah. Get ready to go to three. So oh. there you can see that we have a cool little. Uh, Raw monster. Yeah, there's like a little Pac-Man-ish type little monster there. So he's kind of cool. Then we come back around to the back of it. This is all Rob. The holes are me. The holes are in panel four, right? I think that was, well, Brad. That, that won't do anything. We stapled some cardboard here to hold posters. At oh, look, a dead moth. <laughs> hey, look, a dead moth. Hold on, zoom in on the oh. dead moth. I don't think that, no, that's a moth. So if you ever want to know what a dead moth looked like on his studio set, well, there you have it. Oh yeah, so what we learned today, real quickly. Jay, what'd you learn? Uh, I learned that Here, breaking things is cool. I learned, I learned uh, that I'm not on camera. Go to three. Hi. Hold on. Hi. I, I learned that Brad made the set well, way too good. Yeah, mm. way too good. Way. But I can, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> I learned. I learned that Pat is the shortest of us all. Why, you know that. Now, well, we all look the same height sitting down. No, you look taller. Oh. You might have to do the fact that you're taller. All right. Oh, I'm really sorry about them? that. I'm gonna go I got him. Now. All right. I learned that Pat is a great doorstop helper when you're destroying stuff. Yeah. That's like hold me while I mess crap up. Pat just, is a great doorstop. Just let you me know, hit something and I'm all right with it. Yeah. yeah. If only you had a Burt Reynolds mustache all the time. You know what else uh, I learned? Huh? Is that one way, one way or the other? Next episode, we're going to. Ha well, not next week. Next week we repeat. Sorry, we're not here. Yes, we're, we're not, not here, here next week. Due to reconstructive surgery. Next week, one way or the other, we're gonna, or two weeks, we're going to have a new set. One way or the other. It might just be in the basement of Cable OptiVision. But it, it might look startlingly familiar to this without all the crap on the floor. Actually, the crap might still be on the floor. <laughs> it might still be. Yeah, Rob, can we keep this here for one more week and just scatter it all? Don't, don't go too much higher. One minute. So don't forget to go to Facebook.com slash NSLSTV, Twitter.com slash NSLSTV, YouTube.com YouTube slash NSLSTV. That's I'm still actually, a good hinge. Yes, I'm going to be putting a Hi. secret. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be putting a secret bonus video on the YouTube site at some point in my life. Sweet. Hi. I love secret bonus well, videos. No, no, can't. That, that's okay, Brad, because you were there. Okay. Uh, uh, well, you're putting pictures. Not pushing cameras. <laughs> Hi. Uh, if you want to email us, email us at nslstv at gmail.com. Midnight Replay! Midnight Replay! Bye, Bye Seth! We'll miss you! Midnight. It's, it's it's guys, I can't hold this much longer. Ah! <laughs> Can I drop it? Is it safe to drop? No show next week. <laughs> Just like, drop it! Don't drop it! <laughs> Can Repeat it, next week. We'll see you live in two weeks. Yay! Two. Good night, everybody! Yeah.